Hi guys, this is Greg Doyle here for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Um, today is the first video of three um, that I'm going to be bringing you guys over the next week. And what I'm going to be focusing on in this video guys is what I like to call my ones to watch for 2020. Um, I'll be bringing you three fighters who I think are going to have a good 2020. Um, I'll be basing that not solely on title success, etc. I'm more basing these videos around raw talent and guys who I think that a couple of years down the line are going to be quite big, relatively known fighters. So that's the, the aim and the purpose of these videos. Um, as I say, I'll be bringing you three. I'll be bringing you my Scottish fighter to watch. It just feels like the right thing to do. I'm Scottish, so I'd like to um, point out one of our guys up here. I'll point out um, a UK based fighter, UK and Ireland based fighter um, as part of another video and finally I'll be bringing you my international fighter to watch for 2020. Um, guys I think we'll all agree we're kind of having withdrawals with boxing at the moment aren't we? Um, it's nice over the Christmas and New Year period to wind down, spend time with family etc but it's so frustrating how long it takes for boxing to get going again um, when the new year begins and I'm really missing it at the moment as I'm sure all of you are but when it comes back it'll probably feel like it's never been away so sometimes these periods are good for you to sit and reflect and you know think about like for me for example think about these videos and think about the guys that I want to talk to you about and really look into it, do research look at who they fought etc before I bring this video to you because I think it's very important to know where a guy's came from and where he's going to go in his career um, or where you I should say you think he's going to go in his career so I'm, I'm really excited about bringing you guys these three videos over the next week or so um, but that's just to give you guys a, a quick background into why I'm, I'm doing the videos and what the, the main purpose of them are so let's get right into it. I want to talk to you guys in this video about my Scottish fighter to watch for 2020. Um, I'm aware that we've got a lot of good talent coming through in this country. Um, sometimes it's difficult to pinpoint one guy, but anything that I've watched this fighter that I'm about to recommend to you guys, I, I don't know what it is, but it, it, it keeps me like really interested in his fights. I think his style is, it's such a strange style for a Scottish boxer because um, up here in this neck of the woods, yeah, we're known for talent, but a lot of the time we're known for technical ability in terms of being like really technically sound, knowing how to go from upstairs, downstairs to the body, etc. and when to do it. I'm not being harsh, but what I would say is that we're not really known for being like having lots of flair in things, we're more known as being like really tough Scottish fighters. That's that's probably our niche. That's what we're like really known for. Um, but this fight that I'm going to bring to you, yeah, he has all those things. But as I say, his style is a bit different. Um, it's not really a style that I've seen many Scottish boxers with, and I've took everything into consideration before um posting this video to you guys. And the guy that I'm going to recommend for Scotland in 2020 is welterweight Dean Sutherland. Now, as I say, any time I've watched Dean, I don't know what it is, but I've been fascinated by his style. He's quite elusive. He holds his hands down, holds one hand down. Um, we know that that's, that's really good for a jab. Yeah, you've got to be careful you don't get caught. But if you throw a jab from your waist rather than throw it from shoulder height, you're going to generate a lot more snap in the punch. And it's something that I'm really fascinated with any time I watch um, Dean Sutherland. For you guys that don't know Dean, um, if I'm bringing you guys a name that you haven't or weren't aware of as of yet, Dean, as I say, is a welterweight. Um, he's promoted by Sam Kinnock and Kinnock Promotions. And he's 9-0 and um, as a welterweight with two stoppages. I just think, looking at Dean, he's only 21. I didn't realise before... I was doing my research a couple of days ago that he's only a baby, he's only 21 and people have got mixed opinions on this but I'm a big believer in man strength and I don't think Dean's totally developed yet and he's got that man strength which 
makes it e even more intriguing for me as to how he's going to progress in his career. He's only a pup, he's a baby, he's 21. And when I watch him, I just think he's a very, very good fighter. Very good fighter. Um, technically very, very sound. Got lots of flair about his work. Very um, elusive. And I don't, you don't see that a lot in Scottish fighters these days, so it's refreshing. Um, for me, Dean is my Scottish fighter to watch in 2020. I think that if Sam and the team match him correctly, step him up at the correct times, but keep him very busy as well, um, I think that Dean could go on to have a great, great career and he could be one of the next ones in Scotland to to have the big breakthrough and win domestic titles and go on and fight for world titles. Um, he's in a very tough division, isn't he? I mean, welterweight is like stowed with talent, but taking into account the ability that Dean's got and that he's only 21, I just think that he's my one to watch for um, 2020. My fighter to watch last year was Cash Farouk. Um, I don't think that was uh, quite a bad prediction, if I do say so myself. Cash has went on to do great things this year. Um, he's got the loss to Lee McGregor that I think probably 90% of people think he won that fight. Um, but look, what, look what's happened to Cash now. I mean, he's been signed by Eddie Hearn and Matram. Like, those are the stuff that dreams are made of in terms of your exposure, etc. And I think that Dean is with a really good promoter in this country, someone that is going to get him exposure. Um, they're very active in social media kind of promotions. So, um, for me, guys, Dean Sutherland is my one to watch for Scottish fighters in 2020. Well, we're waiting to say difficult division, but I think see if you step Dean up at the right rate, um, keep him grounded, um, close his ears when um, he's out of the gym. These are all very, very important things, by the way. Um, I just think that it could go on to have a really, really good year. And when I say ones to watch, guys, I don't necessarily mean that in terms of they're going to win everything in 2020. What I mean is this is the guy that I think is going to progress at the best rate. And in a couple of years' time, who knows, he might be sitting on a world title or two. He's definitely got the talent. I've got absolutely no no hesitation about that at all. It's just about moving at the right rate. Like you say, maybe step up this year. Um, he fought Keen, Keen Mann, McMahon um, earlier on, in was that 2019 or late 2018? Anyway, um, I watched that whole fight um, online. And I know a lot of people that thought Keen was going to beat Dean Sutherland that night. And I watched both guys. I was very confident that Dean would win the fight if he stuck to a game plan. Guess what Dean done? He stuck to a game plan. Boxed. Absolutely tremendous. Um, but I think for me this year, keep keep Dean busy. Have him fight a few journeymen. Yeah, build up your knowledge. He's a pup. He's 21. He can get away with doing that. It's all about experience at this stage in his career. But stepping him up at the right time. Towards the end of the year, I'd like to see Dean maybe step in with someone like a, a Paddy Gallagher or a Tyrone Nurse. Someone that is going to, I wouldn't say put fear in Dean, but someone that he knows that if he has a bad night, these guys are going to beat him. Um, and I think that these step-ups are very, very important. I'll watch Dean's career um, very closely this year. Not purely because of this video, but because I'm really interested to see where this journey can go. I do rate him very highly. So keep an eye on Dean in 2020, guys. Um, he's my one to watch for Scotland. Um, Dean Sutherland, welterweight, very good fighter, elusive, etc. Keep an eye on him in 2020. Um, but my name's Greg Doyle. I am a member of Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Um, subscribe to us through YouTube. Um, have a look at our website. We're on all social media platforms, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Give us a follow on those things, guys. But um, keep an eye on the, the next few videos coming over the next few days. But um, Scottish fighter for me to watch 2020 is welterweight 9-0 prospect Dean Sutherland. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy your day. Cheers.